Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about 10 signs an introvert likes you. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Inspirational Discussion Introverts are private people. They rarely discuss the things near and dear to them. Their inspirations, for example, are well-kept secrets that introverts only expose to their most trusted confidants. Their inspirations are core components of who they are. While others may value things they own or people they know, introverts cherish their interests and passions. That's why introverts protect their inspirations like valuable heirlooms. But what if an introvert shares their inspirations with you? If an introvert discusses their passions, interests, and inspirations, you're someone that they truly trust, someone they see as an important part of their life. If an introvert didn't like you, they'd just keep that knowledge all to themselves. But because they value you and your relationship so highly, they're willing to open up. They're willing to expose deeper aspects of their ambitious and passionate personality. Now, don't take these meaningful discussions for granted. No, introverts don't talk about their inspirations with just anyone. If they talk to you, an introvert likely sees you as more than a friend. Number 2. Physical Touch Introverts need their personal space. If you crowd an introvert, they're going to feel uncomfortable and awkward. It's rare for an introvert to invite others into their personal bubble because that personal bubble is their safe space, a space they can control, a space they understand. So what does it mean when an introvert gets closer to you? Now, this is a big step for an introverted personality. For people who crave personal space, physical closeness doesn't happen very often. It's something an introvert reserves for their family and closest friends. If they're closing that personal gap with you, they think of you as someone special. Physical touch is even more telling. Not only is this introvert close to you, but they're also creating a physical connection between you. Now, most of the time, introverts avoid physical contact, especially with people they don't know, like, or trust. When they initiate physical contact, they're sending you a powerful message. They want to be closer to you. They're letting you into their safe, personal space, and that alone signifies a deeper bond. Number 3. Total Integration Introverts don't share much about their inner lives. They keep their thoughts to themselves. They often surprise the people in their life with big, life-changing decisions. To the rest of the world, these decisions arrive out of nowhere. But an introvert is careful and thoughtful with their choices. They simply keep them to themselves. With a select few people, introverts will share the details inside their head, their thoughts and their worries, the good news and the bad news. If you're one of those people, then you probably play a huge role in this introvert's life. All right, let's take something simple, like talking about your day. To you, it may be natural to tell people what you liked and didn't like. But an introvert doesn't share this information with the world. They reserve the tiny details for a small and trustworthy crowd of people. If you're a part of that crowd, this introvert may like you more than a friend. Number 4. Expressive Messages For many introverts, verbal expression is a challenge. Introverts understand their emotions and thoughts better than most, but they struggle to communicate those ideas out loud. Instead, introverts use controlled, written mediums to get their feelings across. They may send a letter, they may write you a long text. Both of these written messages serve the same purpose. This introvert wants to express their feelings to you in the best way that they can. They want you to understand all the complicated thoughts cycling through their head. On a more basic level, a message from an introvert shows you something else. This introvert genuinely cares about you. Introverts ignore most of the people in the world. They're generally unresponsive with friends and maintain poor communication habits. All right, let's say, for example, an introvert texts you before a job interview wishing you luck. Or maybe they check in after a long day to ask how you're feeling. Now, these little messages may be commonplace for an extrovert, but they're very meaningful for an introvert. If you didn't matter to them, an introvert wouldn't bother reaching out, let alone send a thoughtful message. Number 5. Creative Sharing Introverts are notoriously creative. If you know an introvert, you may be astounded by the sheer number of hobbies they maintain. It seems like they're interested in and capable of so many things, you can barely wrap your head around it. If an introvert likes you, they'll try to share their creative outlets. Let's say an introvert writes music in their free time. 
They may play you songs they wrote or even sing in front of you. It's not because they want to brag or show off. It's because they want to involve you in the most personal aspects of their lives. Introverts pour their thoughts and feelings into their hobbies. Sharing those hobbies with another person feels intimate and risky. But for the right person, an introvert will show just how creative they can be. Number 6. The First Approach Introverts rarely make the first move. They rely on others to make connections and start conversations. Sometimes introverts lack the confidence to cross that boundary. At other times, they're plenty confident, but they simply aren't interested in other people. But what if an introvert approaches you? It's really important to understand just how significant this behavior is for an introvert. Almost everything on this list is normal for a more outgoing person. It's something they may do without thinking, so an extrovert may not place much meaning behind it. But coming from an introvert, simple actions take on a whole new meaning. They carry more weight, they grow in value, and their intention changes. This is one of those times. If an introvert approaches you, they're not just looking for small talk. They're not playing the field or just having fun. They're really interested in you. They're so interested that they defy their own introverted tendencies. An introvert may not be as smooth as an extrovert. They may not have much experience starting conversations, so it may be a little awkward. But introverts only make the first move when they really, really like someone. Number 7. Menial Interest Introverts don't like small talk. They don't like to talk about or share all the boring aspects of life. For example, they'd rather stay silent than talk to a stranger about the weather. But when an introvert is interested in you, they'll set aside their distaste for small talk. They'll ask you about small, unimportant things, and they'll show an interest in these trivial subjects. Why is that? Because they want to know more about you. They want to understand more about your life. If an introvert wants to talk about everyday nonsense, <laughs> you may be their special someone. Number 8. Initiating Calls Introverts don't spend much time on the phone. As we discussed earlier, they prefer written mediums like texting. But if an introvert treasures someone, they'll break out of their comfort zone. They won't just accept your phone calls, they'll initiate phone calls on their own. That's a telltale sign that an introvert likes you as more than a friend. Otherwise, they wouldn't bother calling. Number 9. Emotional Exposure Introverts can be tough eggs to crack. It takes a long time to truly understand how they're feeling or get them to share their emotions with you. Sometimes you never get there. Introverts may hide their emotions from even their closest friends. To an introvert, it's dangerous and nerve-wracking to expose your vulnerabilities. But there are rare exceptions. If an introvert trusts and values you, they may tell you things they don't tell anyone else. When an introvert opens up, it may feel like you're a sounding board for their feelings and ideas. They may use you to talk themselves in and out of decisions. It's almost like they're having a conversation with themselves. You just happen to be in the room. Now, don't take this as a bad sign. They're disinterested or self-absorbed. This is a very normal habit for introverts. Despite how it feels, this habit shows evidence of a deeper connection. Introverts use only their closest friends as sounding boards because these are the only people they feel comfortable expressing their thoughts around. In other words, be a sounding board for your introvert. Let your introvert bounce ideas off of you because that stream of consciousness displays a greater level of trust and comfort. Number 10. Subtle Affections Who's more affectionate, an introvert or an extrovert? Many people think extroverts are more affectionate, but that's not always the case. In fact, introverts can be extremely affectionate. They're just picky. In the beginning, an introvert may not express their feelings. They may not show any interest in you. You may find yourself wondering if they actually like you. You look for signs, you fish for hints, but you come up empty. Does that mean this introvert doesn't like you? Not necessarily. It takes time for an introvert to start expressing their feelings. At first, they'll display their affections in small ways. Little touches, thoughtful gestures, words of affirmation. In the early stages, these small signs speak volumes about how an introvert really feels. They rarely express those feelings in words, but those small expressions represent bigger internal ideas. In other words, introverts feel a lot stronger than they let on. 
Sure, they may seem indifferent, but those tiny affections mean the world to them. Over time, they'll get better and more expressive. But for now, take any kind of affection as a good sign. Hey, thank you for watching Top Thing, and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.